think that this this new mic here mm. <laughs> I just bought it but I think it's a great upgrade upgrade for my setup and all but today I'm going to answer the question that everybody's got been asking me how do I did basically how do I did my videos on <laughs> So basically, I edit on Premiere Pro and After Effects. If you guys know Premiere Pro and you guys want to learn, you should stay. If you guys know, today I'm going to show you what is Premiere Pro and how to use it. So let's go to the laptop thing. But basically, open up Premiere Pro. So this tutorial, I'm not a professional on it but I will try to uh, teach you guys how to use the Premiere Pro because people been asking me a lot of you guys been asking me how do I edit on how do I edit my videos all and all but today I'm going to show you just the basic of it uh, project file you can new click on new project just type in whatever project do you want to use for me to to real okay save it where you want to save it save it you can save it on your hard drive pen drive or anything you can for me i just save it anyway because this is only a tutorial but you guys please make sure you save the file that you want to use basically every each file you save is you guys know where to save it but when you open up premiere pro you will see this kind of thing but if you don't see this kind of windows that i'm looking at go to windows workspace then go to editing so if you guys do that you will end up like me on my screen like this it's a four box let me show you what the four box is this is box one for your easy to understand this is the first box the second box the third box and the final box this is your panel so before i start all this kind of stuff I just want to let you guys know the panel what is the panel thing so this is the first panel up here is your learning your assembly your editing color effects and all of this but for me personally I'm only use editing and color editing where I put everything I want to edit on everything color is where I color grade all my footage that means why I color grade everything let's focus on the first box the first box is basically where you contents all your footage, everything where you're gonna put the files, where you're gonna put everything, the music, the video, the picture. Basically, this is where you put all of your files and video. To be simple as that, this is where you put your files and all. But basically, you can see this is small box. Yeah, and this box also contains your effects. Click this effect panel, you will see the presets the Lumetri preset, the audio effect, the audio transition, the video effect and the video transition. Simple is this, this is simple to say, this is where you put all of your stuff before you edit. Like this is your, like your storm branding place. You just put everything then try to manage it all. So simple as I can say, this is where you put all of your stuff before you start editing your video. So the first box is that. The second box is where you're going to place or before I try to edit, show you how to edit but I'm going to explain you guys what what is this about. But the second box basically is where you're going to see your clip, arrange your clip and pick the clip that you want, point and out point then bring it to your timeline. I hope now you can understand. But yeah, the second box, this also contains your effect controls. I'm going to show you later what's the effect controls about but the third box is your timelines timelines meaning we're going to arrange your clips like if you are doing a storyboard this is your storyboard where you arrange the clip this basically is the 
box place timeline you're going to work with mostly but because this is where you can change the story by itself using just the timeline i'm going to show you later but basically this is a timeline that i can drop and change the duration color grade on it everything this is timeline timeline basically imagine it like a storybook right before the storybook you can flip flip you can put the sequence next to the sequence next to the sequence meaning video picture video you can do that if you want to do but simple simplest thing that i can tell you is timeline is everything where the magic happens <laughs> this is the place where you guys want to place everything where you can edit on where you can do everything on the fourth box is this is the easiest box there's nothing on it but basically this is the viewfinder of your camera uh, or your screen where you can see your picture where you can see basically where you can see the video what's going on with your video this is where the effect the final effect is going to be so basically this is everything you guys will need to know about the premiere pro thing i know it's quite hard but trust me if you guys try to do this it's going to be easy for you you can import your files in two ways one is drag and drop second is double click to import the drag and drop you can open your files open your files you can just select all your footage and drag just drop to this box premiere probably do its own thing just simple as that your footage is already on the, the first box easy to say the second method you can use is the double click to import you can double click on it see just select all i just drag i just hold it and drag it simple and click import so that's two ways you go you can import your files into the to the project bins project files so like the like i said the second box is just going to help you to arrange things and pick the in or out point for example let me choose this one okay if you don't see my the introduction to my car link is down there so i don't want to use all of this i just want to use some part of it what you're gonna do is you wanna if you wanna do, do this you can pr just press this okay for me i like this and let's do the starting point first so you can just click here mark in or you can just like this you can just drop it wherever you want so this basically means your starting point of the video of this footage only this footage in and out point so for me like i said i just use a shortcut i just press i it's automatically will go to this little thing here and scroll 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 okay this is okay for me just press o on out point out point meaning the ending of the footage you can do the press o or click here or just drag like i did so that's the second point second box basically the effect controls didn't show up yet but i will show you guys later on you can drop drag just drag it and drop it on your timeline see when you drag it on your timeline the timeline will show you how this is the duration of your timeline is you can change the duration so basically this v okay to simplify things starting with v is on video starting with a is on audio so basically everything's on top is the video everything's on the bottom is the audio so i don't know if I audio because i shoot this on slow motion but you can see the when you drag and drop it automatically connect with the fourth box the fourth box is like a view for you as you can see it's your view it's like a screen so you can watch everything so yeah you see here so back to the effect controls effect control is everything you can do everything on the effect control. you can scale it up you can scale it down you can move it to the left move it up and down move it to the right you can even rotate this uh, rotate the this was what you can do with the effect controls controls sorry and if you want to put some effects for me if you try to use a uh, automatic will automatic we will use that you can download some preset on online but it's up to you what preset do you want to use basically so the arranging the footage for me i just for me basically personally i will choose like okay for me this is part i like and stop okay drag so when you want to edit something 
please make sure it's on beat oh never mind but please make sure on beat if your music goes like here yeah, the perfect moment like the bass or the drum when you boop boop change the sequence don't edit off the beat edit on the beat it will make much better that's the tip that i can get give you for now but basically that's it so the other thing is you can if you guys wanna add some tags or everything go to files go to new see you can add some legacy title photoshop file caption graphic everything but if you want to do some add text word you can go to legacy title and okay and just write everything lambo just click x drag automatic your files will contain on the project bins but just drag and drop above your thing you can as you can see there the title appear on your footage just just think about this your thing just think about okay this is a pe white paper and a blue paper if you want to let the white paper see just put on top of the blue paper if you want to let the blue paper see just top so basically it's a layer of things what's on the top is what you can see of what's on the bottom you will not see but basically what's on the top you will see it what's on the bottom you will not see it for example as you can see you will you will not see the second layer but if you want to let both of them see you can use your, the screen see now you can see the both of it but it's not nice you can do everything basically you can do everything on this software the limit to your creativity is your mind and think outside the box or outside your comfort zone you will make a great video of it so basically this is it and so the next panel is your color panel so this is my second box that i like to use so normally this is just a simple thing basically this is your timeline the addition part is the color on your right side you can do everything on it of exposure the contrast but for me i use lights lights that i bought or downloaded from the internet you can find lights that perfect for you so this is the lights of black eye you can change the intensity you can change the fade film you can change the sharpen you can change the vibrance you can change the saturation like that. this is all the color grade that you can do on it so lastly that you wanna uh, if you're done with editing and all how do you export the file it's easy go to files go to export go to media then wait for it to do its thing change the source to youtube 1080 hd use maximum render quality change the name put it wherever you want to put it for me it's only desktop and click export easy as that so i hope you learn something from this but but i know if someone for me mindset i only set my mind hard works always wins again talent but a hard working person the talent will not go anywhere the talent will not bloom by itself but if you have the if you're willing to learn this i know please do a one minute video and share it to me tag me on my instagram i will comment on it i will tell you what how to improve your video and all so i hope you guys learned something from this video i'm sorry this is a long video but basically this is how i did what software do i use if you guys want to learn anything else leave a comment below or send me a dm on my instagram so thanks for watching please subscribe and leave a comment i hope to see you again soon for the next vlog ciao thanks for watching